Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be escaping our beautiful planet Earth and going for a visit to the interstellar object known as Oumuamua that is still actually inside our solar system but is going to be leaving it in the next few thousand years. In other words, you're going to find out what Oumuamua might actually look like in real life. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So the beauty of the new space engine is that it actually also has a few new uh, objects that were discovered in the last few months added to it and created completely from scratch, making it a very, very cool um, free simulation to explore if you actually wondered what some of these objects looked like. So today we're going to be escaping Earth and going to Oumuamua. Actually, I don't really know if I'm going the right way. So this is how you do it. You literally just go in here. And the first object on the list of objects here is going to be Oumuamua because it does start with an apostrophe. It's currently at a distance of, okay, it says 283 astronomical units, but that's also because I kind of moved a little bit away from Earth. So I don't know if it's really that far away already. I don't think it actually is. Um, but it is going to be moving away from uh, our sun and it's going to be moving farther and farther until in about 100,000 years it's going to leave our solar system completely. This is what it actually looks like in Space Engine and this is the most realistic representation you'll see in any, uh, really any simulation. I don't think I've ever seen anything as realistic as this. Okay, ready? And here we go. So I actually changed the color scheme just a little bit so it could actually be seen a little bit better. But here is the beautiful Oumuamua. Now this is by far the longest object you can find in Space Engine in terms of the actual uh, ratio of length to, um, to width. Obviously it's not super long, it's only uh, about, I believe it's about 230 or so meters in length by about 35 meters in, um, in diameter. But nevertheless, in terms of the actual sheer uh, shape, this is definitely the longest sort of thing you can find. Its beauty, though, is definitely unprecedented. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is one of the coolest objects I've seen in Space Engine. Now, it obviously doesn't really look like any kind of um, asteroid we've seen. It doesn't look like any comet we've seen. And for this reason, there's actually a lot of unusual theories about it, including, of course, a lot of conspiracy theories of people saying this might be an alien craft. The thing is, it's not. It's really not. As a matter of fact, this is most likely an object that was ejected from a binary um, star system millions and millions, if not billions of years ago. And we think that it's actually a metallic asteroid. And I'll explain to you in a few seconds why we think so. But first of all, let's actually land on it. Let's go and check out what it feels like to actually stand right here on, okay, inside. No, not inside, on top of Oumuamua. I probably can go through it as well. And as you can see, it actually spins relatively fast. Now I'm going to uh, slow down time a little bit, just so you can see this is in real time. This is how fast it actually spins. You can see it move. Now, the cool thing about it is that its spin is really the reason why it's so long. So if I accelerate time here, you'll see that it kind of rotates really fast. And because of this, it, it, over time, it's sort of stretched into this unusual shape. We've discovered that it rotates in such a fast way by looking at its reflection. And when we investigated um, its reflectivity, and I think maybe we can re-enable this for a second, we discovered that um, it actually changes its reflectivity by a factor of 10. In other words, if it's only about 1 uh, of reflectivity now, it's going to be 10 now. And this changed so fast that the only explanation for this was that it's actually really, really long in shape and rotates really fast. There's a few other asteroids we've seen that actually have similar reflectivity patterns, and we're certain that this is exactly what's happening here as well. The other thing we know about it is that um, it's metallic, and the reason we know that is because when it actually came really close to our sun, which I think is somewhere over here, judging by the sunlight. Huh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Uh, when it came close to the sun, it didn't really create any cometary tail. 
In other words, it didn't really have any um, stuff coming out of it, like most comets do. And that suggests that it's not really made out of any ices, like methane or water and so on. It's most likely made out of rock and metal, similar to a typical asteroid. Now, this also suggests that this object, for the most part, is uh, most likely coming from the inner star system where it used to exist, and it got thrown out of it. Probably because it had a, another star in there, in that particular system, that made uh, things really, really, really unstable over time, and eventually it basically escaped and uh, flew away into our solar system. And we think that our solar system is probably the first it visited. Now, there is still a, a few questions here, and one of the questions I actually have, and I can't really answer despite a thorough, thorough research on this, why is it that this object is actually relatively red in color? A lot of the outer asteroids and outer objects, like Pluto, for example, that we have in our solar system, has a very similar color to this. They actually are red because they have a lot of methane ices that, due to the solar radiation, turn red. But this object escaped its star system relatively long time ago and probably doesn't have a lot of ice on it because we didn't see any cometary tail. So why is it that this object is also red? And I guess the explanation uh, might be that it actually contains uh, metals and rocks that are reddish in color and that actually implies that we need to study its composition a little bit better. For all we know, this could be made out of some unusual metals we don't really have in our own solar system uh, to the extent where we see them uh, in asteroids. And for uh, all we know, you might even have some really cool unusual metals, including things like huge deposits of gold. And so that implies that maybe in the next few years, we should consider launching a mission here and come and check it out as well. Well, anyway. That's all I wanted to show you in this video, and if you actually want to check out Oumuamua by yourself, this is from the Space Engine version 0.9.90, and I believe it's actually going to be publicly available really soon. And alternatively, you can also find the files that will add Oumuamua from the um, links that I'm going to be providing in one of the future videos, where we're going to be making our own rock that has similar compositions. So do check out the video and you'll be able to create this in your own space engine as well. Other than that, that's all I wanted to do in this video. And now you kind of have seen what the Muamua may look like in real life. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye bye.